Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Wild Wednesdays Live, presented to you by Quilt Craft and Sewing Festivals. I'll be your host this week. I'm Raylene Salazar. Gosh, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. And I'm telling you, we have got four amazing vendors on the lineup for today. But a couple of things we want to go through real quick before we get started. Now, first of all, if you have questions during the show, you're going to just put those right in the comments section. We do have a comment moderator who's going to be keeping an eye on those. Anything he can answer right away, he will. Or if not, he's going to tag the appropriate vendor so they can get back to you after the show. Now, we want to remind you that from now until tomorrow night, Thursday at midnight, if you order from any of these four featured vendors through our Quilt Craft Sew Mall, you are going to get a special 20% discount. So be sure if you're interested in anything, you don't delay. You order from them by midnight tomorrow night. Now, all you have to do to get to them is follow the link that's scrolling on the screen. And right in the middle of the page, when you get to the mall, it'll say a 20% discount or coupon. I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact wording. But when you click on that, that is a special page just for the four vendors today so that you can find everybody really easily. Now, we're going to have a little bit of fun today as well. We're going to do some giveaways. Everybody likes giveaways, right? I've got five great prizes to give away today. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to give you a code in just a few minutes. And you're going to comment that, or write that rather in the comment section, one entry per person. This is only going to happen for those of you viewing live today. So you have a really good chance of, uh, of winning one of these five prizes. Um, we're going to have two gift certificates to Quilter's Haven. We have a great uh, panel, birthday panel and pattern from the Calico Cupboard. We have a beautiful wire basket coming from Gary at the Global Marketplace. Um, I believe we also have a video from Creative Seat. So again, five great prizes. So here's what you need to do. Just type in, pick me in the comments anytime during today's show. We will then do a random drawing and we'll post those winners on Facebook all right here on the page tomorrow. So, okay, I think we got all the housekeeping out of the way. So let's get started. I'm so excited that our first vendor today is John Brady from Guidelines for Quilting. If you watched last week, you might remember we had a few technical difficulties. There was some storms in some areas, what have you. And we weren't able to get connected with John, but he was so gracious to give it another shot. So he is back today. So we're going to turn it over to John because no, no, I know no, you're going to no, love no, what no. he has John to is not back so today. Oh, oh no. no, no, no. no. Who is that? Him he cannot do this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Jean-Claude. Raylene, bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Sure, bonjour, Jean-Claude. Oh, my goodness. So nice I'm so glad to see, to see you. you. <laughs> yeah. You haven't lost your sense of humor during the lockdown. I'm loving it. Oh, well, it's grown quite a bit. But no, I remember all those days we spent at the left bank, walking hand in hand. Oh, your your husband, he's listening, is he not? Oh, yeah, I'm he's sorry. right Never here. Never mind. <laughs> no, this is Wild Wednesdays. This is not for John. This is for Claude. John Claude, take it away. Show us what you have to show us. I'm sure it's much better than what John would have shown. Bonjour. So Jean Claude is, uh, you know, I locked John in the closet. I will let him out later. But I just want to ask all of you: Have you ever strained your ass looking at the ruler? I'm sure many of you have. This is not good. If you look at a ruler like this, you have so many lines, and you have to pick out the line you want every single time. Plus, says, this is not good. So I told John that he should make that has a guide in it. So this is the guidelines ruler. And instead of having to pick out your line by eye, you can set a guide. So you set the guide anywhere you want. Like I'm going to set it to two and one half inches. And now, excuse me, what? I will put this down here so you can see. Oh, there we go. So instead of lining up my eye, you just slide up to your face and it catches the back. And when you cut this exact amount every single time, magnifique, is it not? And another thing about this ruler, it is not made of the acrylic, which most of your rulers are made of. And Jean-Claude brought, I should know how to say that in French, but uh, something hammer sounds good anyway. So what I'm going to show you let me grab this one here. I ruler with the hammer, but that will not break. <laughs> this polycarbonate is 25 times stronger than acrylic, so you will never 
never chip them. They will last forever. And one more big advantage to this is the only size we make. See Jean-Claude again. Okay. But what we do, connector. This. And like this. And voila. Uh oh, did I disappear? Oh, I'm back again, maybe. Oh, good. So here I have, which way do I go? <laughs> okay. So here I have a six by 24, but if I want to carry it, I can take it apart. Magnifique, is it not? I heard you, yes, okay. So now if I want to make a corner spoon go like this, and if I want to cut a bigger piece, I can go like this. Magnifique, eh? Yes, I believe so. So, but I, all, many of you out there are saying, but Jean-Claude, I already have so many rulers. I have in this kind out there what can you do for ah oh, back again like that just magic so what ah oh, where's my upgrade get package i don't have a yes i do oh there it is oh well, i disappeared in the meantime but this is called the quilt ruler upgrade kit what this lets you do is add the guide to any ruler you already have let me get a small one here so many, but you can see I now have a guide on it. And I also have on the edges. So this makes it, so I have the guide on every, but it also makes it, so these ruler feet, no, of course. So the way that it has a stretchy band. So when it's on there, it pulls, which way do I go? This way, there we go. So when it's on the ruler and I do this, it comes out perfectly straight. So same idea, clip the guide, pick your line. We'll go two and a half again. And then I do not have to at all. Oops, I got to turn the, there we go. So just right up to the fan, I can touch. Every single time. Did I disappear again? Hello? Hello? I don't know. Oh, where am I? Here I am. Oh, okay. I'm back again. Which way? Go back to this. So again, I just slide up and cut. And we have the same thing for the longer ruler. In fact, some of you may have this brand here, a little bit different brand, but the same idea. I can put a guide on a 24 inch ruler and do the same thing. The fabric can cut perfectly accurate. And we also have that I can use as an anvil. Makes it very easy, slide up, cut, slide up and cut, slide up and cut. You become a cutting machine and every piece comes out exactly the same, which is what I want as a quilter, no? Yes. So, and another thing this stuff is a connector. So, um, that sounds a little bit German, I think, when I, well, anyway, I'll work on that for next time. But another thing you can do, connect the ruler. So let me see if I can get this on the camera for you. Is that where you can see? I think it is. So this has little tabs on it, and it just goes right up to the edge of the ruler here, and I just connect it like that. And I could connect and ruler, like if you need a three-foot ruler or a four-foot ruler or really anything you want, just make it as long as you want. But one of the really nice things is to do this, the tabs, and then I'm gonna take another one and I make a corner square. So this is really nice when you want to straighten up the edge of your fabric. You can over a little bit here, and then when you get square here, you'll take it off here, and you straighten up the edge of your fabric, then you just start sliding up to the, magnifique, no? Yes, of course it is, and, there's another thing. You've got all your pieces cut accurately. So the next thing you want to do is to sew them together accurately. And I have a very, very nice sewing machine here. And I'm going to show you how to set this little guide. Because what you want to do when you are quilting, you know what they call a scant quarter inch. It's just slightly less than a quarter inch so that all your finish sizes fit, all your pieces fit, and all your little points on your, nice and pointy. So what you can do, 
This is our seam guide setter. Let me show you the package here. And included in here are six of our seam guides and one of these pushers. And all you need to do is put a seam guide in the setter, and then you can slide it where you want to be on your machine. And I know on my little machine, I can be all, but depending on your machine, you can be one. And the beautiful thing about this little seam guide setter, there's no little hole to try to poke your needle into. We don't want that. And we also want to make set our seam guide right directly so it is a scant quarter from the needle. And this makes it so simple because it just has a little. You take the little hook, can you see? Let me see, move it up here. And you hook this on your needle and you press the guide down in place. So you can see where that guide is on right now. It's exactly at a scant quarter. Now you can just start guiding your fabric along the edge of the guide and voila, you have a magnificent uncrabbed scant quarter inch seam allowance. Your finish size between your seams will come out exactly right. And if you don't know the secret to make all your pieces fit together, because as you add more seams, if you sew too big of a seam allowance, things become smaller and smaller. So you sew the scant quarter, all your finish sizes come out on crab, absolutely magnifique, 100% accurate. Oh, and I should show you before I go on here, we do have our grip slit. So when you buy a guidelines ruler, I will show you that. It comes like this. Oh, by the way, I, I forget to, you know, that just doesn't sound French sometimes to me, but I'm trying. But uh, the guidelines ruler also includes a built-in finger guard. This is a very nice thing um, because I don't know about you, but I, my sister one time uh, wound up in the emergency room on Christmas Eve because of cutting her finger our ruler you have a built-in guide so when your hand is here your fingers are protected over here uh but the other thing our ruler has grip strips all be built in on the edges so this ruler will not slip on you at all and again the polycarbonate here i'll hit it with a hammer again no you already saw that that's okay so absolutely will not break the finger guard is polycarbonate the whole ruler is polycarbonate but it also has the grip strips already built on the sides and the grip strips are the best non-slip product out there. And I will tell you why. It is because they go on the edges of the ruler. Because many of you know this, when you are cutting and you get past your hand and the ruler slips a little bit, that's because all the pressure's under your hand. What happened? Oh, my lovely wife just gave me a finger guide because I didn't have one here. But uh, back to the grip strips. Like I say, they are already built in here. The finger guard is removable. Sometimes you might want to take it off if you're traveling, get a little easy to carry a store. But when on there, your fingers are protected. But like I said, the grip strips are built in here. Included in this upgrade kit, there are six of the grip strips. So that is enough. You're going to have four of them on your 24 inch ruler. And the other do, ah, that was French, do, see, on the 12 inch ruler. And you can also put them on any of your templates. You can bend, you can cut them, you can do anything you want. So here I've got just for the sides of this hexagon. And one of the great things about the grip strips, not bother you lining up. So sometimes you want to cut like maybe a little monkey here. I should know the word for monkey. Can you go look up the word for monkey in French for me, please? But anyway. What are all your arms? Use them all. You're my mistress. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so if you want to cut just one precise monkey, see how easy this slides so you can get it lined up accurately. But when you get ready to cut, the minute you push down, it lock in place. I can move my whole table here. And like I said, you can bend them also. So on curved edges, they're fantastic. In fact, many of you might be making the mask today. So the grip strips are great for your template for the mask also. So you can put them down curved edges. You, you, they, they're completely invis invisible, invisible, there we go. And you can't see them at all, but they're ready to cut. You just put a little pressure down and it just lock in place. And I will show you, I'm probably about out of time. Is this cut? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But yes, I, I yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just about. I'll put this down there anyway, and the phone is ringing too. But uh, this is our prep tool, and 
if you ever need to do like a, a mitered binding corner, a setting seam, this is a perfect little tool for marking your seam lines, uh, setting seams, anything like that. So, je suis fini. That is all for Jean Claude. Hey, that was amazing. I'm so happy now that John wasn't available. Whoops. Because I got to tell you, I, I have not laughed so hard in a long time. <laughs> so, Jean Claude, I appreciate that. And um, we do appreciate Now, everybody remember that all these magnificent products are available on John's website. If you click through to the mall, you'll find him. And if you order by tomorrow night at midnight, you're going to get that extra special discount. And that's not something that these vendors normally do. So, take advantage of that. So thank you so much. Say if you see John, say hi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was just awesome. Um, again, thank you so much, uh, John, for filling in here and getting back on the show quickly after last week's mishap. So next up is one of my all-time favorites, I have to admit, uh, Suzanne Barrett from the Calico Cupboard. Um, we've been friends for, gosh, I don't know, about 100 years. And I, again, one of those vendors that I see at every show, but I never get to see what she's doing because I'm so busy. So I'm really anxious. She's going to be showing you some quick and easy gifts to do. So how you doing today, Suzanne? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Welcome, everyone, to our Wild Wednesday presentation regarding quick and easy crafts that you can make from pre-printed uh, fabrics. All right. Well, we're going to let you have the full screen and take it away. Okay. Before I get started, I'd like to give a shout out to Chris and Eric from the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festivals for sponsoring and promoting our videos, to Raylene, our wonderful host, and to Ron for his technical wizardry. We couldn't do it without you. So now let's get started. The first panels I'm going to show you today are 100% cotton flannel. There's two of them from a line called The Most Wonderful Time. This is the block panel. And when you cut it apart and piece it back together, you can make this wonderful raggy quilt you see over my shoulder using the Quake Katie's Quick Quilt pattern. The other panel in the grouping is a larger panel. Again, the most wonderful time. Add borders and you have a wonderful cozy lap quilt. Again, wonderful time. The panels are 850. Now, one of the most popular items on from our booth are the fa fabric book panels. Lots of grandmas like to make them for their little grandkids. We have a special one to show you today. This is called The Great I Am, Good Christmas Book. Here's a book called I Spy. And you know the, the books that I spy? Well, now we have a book panel as well as a quilt panel. Here's another book. This is called Dexter the Dinos Dinosaur, All About Numbers. He also has one all about letters, so don't miss Dexter the Dinosaur. Here's Peekaboo Love. That's a really cutie one. Nursery Rhyme Times. My First Book of Shapes. So these are just a few. We hope you'll go on our website, quilt, uh, calicocupboardstore.com, and check out all the other ones. Now, if you don't need a book, but you like the design on the pages, just cut the pages apart, take the blocks, add sashing and a border, and you have a small quilt. This one happens to be Whirly Gig Magic, and it features a lot of little dragons and affirmative statements for kids. It's really great. Check it out. Now, if you're a coffee lover or know someone is, here's a panel for you. This is called Coffee Time. And as you can see, there's lots of nice motifs on this uh, panel. And if you use four of them, combine them with two or three half yard pieces of coordinating fabrics, you can make several place mats. As a matter of fact, Using this pattern called As You Like It, you can make four of the place mats you see here, as well as mud mats and coasters. So don't forget coffee time. The panel is $7.99, available on the website. Now here's a real cute panel. This one is called Teddy's Grand Adventure. And you can see there's six different squares available on this panel. And when you piece them together with quilt, with sashing and borders, you get a nice little quilt for a special child. The panel is 819. We also have a kit available that includes the panel, the sashing, and the border, and it's 2195. Many of you I know have already made um, okay. pillowcases using that quick and easy pattern that's available on the online. But maybe you didn't know that if you take a 45-inch panel, a one-yard panel, fold it in half, trim it down to 27 inches and add your two coordinating fabrics that you can make a standard pillowcase. 
This time of year, another really popular item is a advent calendar. And we have three to share with you today. This one is called Holiday Heartland. And the panel is a one yard panel that includes all the pockets that you stitch on as, as in, instructed on the panel. It's 1149. And the nice thing about this grouping is there's other coordinates. This is a two third yard panel that includes six different motifs that you can use for placemats, um, small wall hangings or table runners. It's available for $7.99. There's a couple of other coordinates in the line. This is an all over barn and truck panel. Here's a nice border fabric. Here's a really cute little quilts on the line. These are all available for $11.49 a yard. Our last advent calendar is called, or not, Very Merry Christmas. This one, as you can see, is a house full of little bears and included on the one yard panel is this little bear up here in the corner. And following the instructions on the, all the pockets each day, you move him throughout the house so the kids can help you out. This very Merry Christmas. Next is a, a advent calendar called a Little King Nativity. This is a, a panel that includes the large motif you see here and four other smaller motifs. The panel itself is $7.75, but when combined with the pocket panel, we have a kit for you for the advent calendar for $11.49. And here you see we've taken two of the smaller panels and put them together for a wall hanging displayed for you on our Believe wire hanger, which is available as well. Again, the panel is $7.95. And what's Christmas without stockings? So here's a Believe Santa stocking panel. You can see you can make two stockings for this panel, as well as have eight different gift tags. This panel is available on our website, so please check it out. Now, if you have kids in your life, babies, maybe you need some bibs. So this Bungle Jungle panel includes enough motifs for six bibs. All you have to do is add Backing and batting and quilted as you like, add snaps for closure. So bungle jungle, the panel's available for $11.49. How about a springtime table runner? This one is called the flower pot table runner and it's actually a kit. It includes the center panel that you see, the scallop border, the backing and the binding. You just provide the batting. This kit is available for $48.85. And how about something for Easter? Now that we're getting into spring, this panel is called Easter Parade. And it has two of these large motifs you see, as well as four of the smaller motifs. We've displayed the smaller motif on the Easter basket hanger and the larger motif on the bird on the, on the wire hanger, which is available from our website for $18.50. The Easter basket hanger is $14.95. So again, Easter Parade, the panel is $8.99. Here's a summary panel. This one is called Sunshine Kisses and includes eight different motifs, really nice sayings. The panel itself is $7.99. If you take one panel and add some borders, you can create the small quilt you see here. We've topped it with our Home Tweet Home hanger, which is available for $18.50. The panel itself is $7.99. Here's another small panel. This is called Quilter's Wisdom, and it's six by 12. It's $7. Just add some borders and, and it becomes a nice cute wall hanging, which you see on the hanger here. This is a needle and thread hanger that's available for $11. The panel itself is seven. How about a roly poly snowman? This small panel is $4.99. As you see, there's many squares available for use. We've taken three of them, pieced them together, added some borders, and made this 8 by 20 wall hanging. And again, we've topped it off with one of our metal hangers. This one is a snowman hanger, and it's $13.50. Here's another happy Christmas panel. This one is called Jolly Old Saint Nick. And by cutting out row three by three square, you can make this cute little wall hanging, which we are displaying on our Axel table stand. And the table stands are really nice because they you can buy interchangeable 
toppers for them. This happens to be the Christmas tree topper, but as Easter comes or different seasons, you can change out your toppers to reflect the style of the quilt you're displaying. This has been a very popular panel. It's called Sew, Let's Stitch. It includes one larger motif that you see here. This is 29 by 34. And across the top are several small motifs, which make these small quilts, which we're displaying on this 12 inch hanger, which is available for 350. The panel itself is 24 by 44 and it's 799. Here's another small panel. This panel happens to be six by six, and it makes this cute little zipper uh, pouch made from Jody's zipper pouch pattern. You just add coordinating fabrics in your six by six inch panel. We also have some small zipper poles that are available to coordinate with a lot of the different uh, panels. And this, these panels are 450. How about some apron panels? Here's our Christmas apron panel. This one is called Making Spirits Bright. It's available right now for 30% discount off the $11.99 uh, normal price. By adding a yard of fabric and another pocket on the back, you have yourself a reversible apron. And here's another apron pattern we have. This one is called Apple Festival. And again, it's a one yard panel. It's $11.49. We've added a yard of coordinating fabric and another pocket on the back, so you have another reversible apron. We also have panels that you can use to make sewing machine covers. This sewing machine cover actually uses a pattern. It's called Graham's Sewing Machine Cover, and it's 850. Our sewing time panel has six different antique sewing machine motifs that you can use. We put one on the front and one on the back lined it and quilted it. We have the coordinating fabrics available. This panel is 750. Here's another sewing machine panel, cover panel we have. This one is in the very popular trailer motif that you can see. So there's design for the front, the back and sides, which have two little pockets for some of your goodies. This vintage camper panel is 1169. We lined it and quilted it. It's 17 inches wide, 12 inches high, and seven and a quarter inches deep. It fits both my Bernina Artista 730 as well as my portable Elma. So this is a really cute project. This quilt behind me that you see is called Magic Forest. We have a few uh, panels um, and kits left. The, the kit is 48.55, and that includes all of the fabric you see on the front of the quilt. You have to add your own backing and batting and binding. The panel itself is $7.99. So magic forest. And what could be better than collaboration between Walt Disney and Thomas K Kincaid? We just got in these wonderful digitally printed panels. They're $15.69, which is a little pricey, but remember, they're digitally printed. So this one is called Sweetheart Cove. Here we have Sweetheart Campfire. And this one is called Central Park. So don't forget Thomas Kincaid and Walt Disney, 1569 for the digitally printed panels. Lastly, I wanna remind you to always memorialize your work. Please put a quilt label on your quilts, whether it's for a friend or yourself. Um, Ron will remember the date and maybe the occasion that you made it for. My mom was a wonderful quilter. She made a lot of quilts, but she didn't put labels on very many of them. And I wish she would have because then we could have followed her through her quilt journey. I see a few minutes left. So I'd like to take this opportunity to answer a few of our frequently asked questions. So I'm gonna copy um, the Big Matt people who, um, answer some of their questions. One of the questions we're asked is, where are you located? We're a traveling shop and you can see us at Quilt Craft and Sewing Festivals sponsored by Rusty Barn or on our website and we're starting up a Facebook page. So remember to place your order today or tomorrow before um, midnight to receive your 20% discount. 
Another question I'm asked is, do you pre-shrink your fabric? And the answer is, I personally do prefer to pre-shrink, pre-wash my fabrics, especially if I'm gonna be washing the finished project. It's no fun to, to put all your time and effort into it and have fabrics either fade differently or shrink differently. For darker colors, I use cold water and a color grabber sheet, which you see here. You just toss it in the wash and it collects all the dyes that might leach from your fabric. A lot of people have asked, what's the fabric content of your fabric? Um, all of our panels are 100% cotton and all of our coordinating fabrics as well. Some of the sizes may vary from 36 by 44 or others are 24 by 44. So that usually, if you check out on the website, the panel, uh, underneath the panel, it tells you the size, but they're all 100% cotton. Lastly, are there instructions? Good news, most panels for specific items like bibs, aprons, advent calendars, and books include instructions printed right on the panel. If it's something that I've uh, worked at myself, then I will give you a project sheet when you buy the fabric. And we hope you enjoyed our presentation. We look forward to seeing you soon. And thanks again for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Suzanne, that was amazing. I'm so inspired and so excited. Like I said, I so rarely really get to spend a lot of time in anyone's booth. But the one thing that struck me, and I'm sure it did our viewers as well, is your prices are amazing. With the cost of fabrics these days, to be able to get those panels at such a reasonable price to make such beautiful gifts is amazing. So we really thank you for being on the show today. And again, uh, just make sure that if you're going to order from Suzanne, go to the mall, click on her store by midnight tomorrow to get that extra 20% discount. So thanks, Suzanne. We hope you see you soon. Happy holidays. Thanks, everyone. Merry Christmas. Okay. Well, now our next great vendor is going to be Gary Bond from the Global Marketplace. And he has some of the most amazing products. I have to admit, I think about him every day because at <laughs> night when I take off my jewelry, I put it in a little wire basket that I bought from them years ago. It's yeah. one of my favorite little treasures. So he's going to be sharing some of his items with us today. So how you doing, Gary? Hi, Raylene. Uh, thank you very much for having me on the, the program today. And I wanted to echo uh, the uh, thank you to Eric and uh, Chris. Uh, we do a lot of shows and uh, they are the only uh, show vendor who's doing something to help all of us uh, while we can't do shows. And we, we really appreciate that. And we appreciate you and Ron and all the work that you're doing too. So th thank you very much for that. Oh, our pleasure. So, well, everybody's anxious to see what you want to show. So I'm yeah. going to get out of here and turn this over to you. Okay. Okay. Most of you probably recognize this for selling fair trade crafts. Um, we sell mostly butterfly jewelry and uh, the wire baskets that uh, Raylene talked about. Let me give you an example. Here's a uh, pendant. It's a 49, um, uh, it's a um, uh, $39 pendant. That's a real butterfly pendant. You can see the little glowing of the butterfly right there. Uh, now, the first thing that everybody asks us at the shows, they, they, they have this look of horror on their face and they wanna know where did we get the uh, butterflies? Well. They actually live out their entire lives in a butterfly exhibit in Lima, Peru. Uh, and when they pass away, uh, some of them are collected to make this jewelry. It's raised by a tribe uh, in the rainforest and it's all fair trade and it's all ecologically sound. Uh, let me give you another example of these. Uh, here are some earrings. Now this is the green banded Urena. Uh, the uh, green banded Urena uh, is a popular butterfly in South America. These have sterling silver ear wires, but the rest of the jewelry is silver plated. We did that to be able to keep the price down. Um, this is a small pair of earrings, so it's actually $39. And of course, if you order by tomorrow night, we're knocking 20% off of that price. Uh, the uh, back of the jewelry, uh, let me go back to the one with the, uh, with the butter colored. If you look on the back, uh, the same uh, wing is on the back of the jewelry. Here's what this looks like. It's the butter, it's the uh, blue morpho actually that is on the back of the jewelry. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's really two-sided and you can wear it uh, both ways. Uh, when we uh, sell these, uh, we ship these in a uh, nice gift box. And uh, we also have, uh, for example, with that one, we would include a nice um, copy of a 
uh, of a information piece that shows you what kind of butterfly it is. That one was made actually out of two butterflies, the blue morpho and the butter colored. Um, to give you a, oh, here's a, a butter colored uh, large one. These are $49. Uh, I don't know if we can see it real good, but they have kind of a, a effervescent glow like, um, um, oh, um, I can't think what, what I'm thinking of there, but they, they glow a little bit when you have the light on them in a certain way. Uh, and uh, they really are stunning uh, to wear and they'll sp sparkle like that as you wear them. Uh, then um, the, um, we have small pendants. These are only $29. Here's a combination of the blue morpho on the top and the malachite on the bottom. And let me see if I can get it to stop moving there. There it goes. So you can see a little bit about how that that blue and the blue morpho can really kind of glow. Uh, and uh, the uh, malachite is the other butterfly that's here. Uh, now these are made by a tribe in Peru that actually raises the butterflies uh, in their own um, habitat and sells them to the zoo in Lima. And then the zoo shows them to the tourists. And after about six weeks, they pass away. And then the, uh, uh, the zoo will collect them in the morning and uh, they'll uh, sell some of them back to other artists. Uh, the tribe gets to get back the ones that they brought in and then they'll make this beautiful jewelry. Here's another one. This is in the shape of a wing uh, and it's called uh, the green banded Urena again. Uh, a lot of women in South America are named Urena after this particular butterfly. And on the back, uh, this has uh, a similar color, but with a little bit different pattern. It's a, uh, uh, nice dark green. The uh, jewelry comes with an 18 inch chain. Now this is silver plated, it's nothing real fancy, but uh, this particular pendant would uh, be only uh, $39 and you can see them on our, uh, on our website. Uh, let me show you one more example. Oh yeah, here's a um, pair of heart earrings that we have. Uh, this is a combination of the blue morpho and the Malachite there you can see the the nice pretty color there of the uh, of the jewelry um, The uh, website has about 60 different styles. So there's lots of uh, possibilities uh, Another thing we carry right behind me. We've started uh, some uh, cotton tablecloths uh, From India that are block print where they're handmade and they use a block print uh, system and <clears throat> they've been pre-shrunk and they're color fast and they're all ready to put right on your table. We have a lot of those displayed on the website and that's what I have behind me. Now, what, uh, what Raylene was talking about uh, uh, was the uh, wire baskets. She probably bought something like this. This is a basket made by the Zulu tribe in South Africa. And it's made out of electric wire that's been manufactured new for the basket. But for years, they used to actually take telephone wire that the phone company would give them and they would weave these beautiful baskets. I can hold it up close there. You can see uh, what great detail there is and what bright colors there are. Uh, the wire is a little bit stiffer than what the uh, telephone wire was. So it makes a higher quality basket. Uh, this is only $20. And of course, it would be 20% off if you ordered by tomorrow night. Uh, the um, uh, basket is hand woven uh, by an individual artist in the Zulu tribe in South Africa. Um, this is another example. Oh, and by the way, they do come with these nice tags that explain all about them. So if you're giving them as a gift, uh, they'll uh, uh, be able to understand what the basket is when they open up the package. This one uh, is a style called Black Rainbow because it's got a lot of black wire in it as well as the, uh, the rainbow. Um, they come bigger. We have a whole series that start at $25. And here's a triangle shaped one. Uh, I have trouble remembering the styles. So I wrote in here that it's a desert because that's, that's what it is. They have different names for all the different styles. Um, with uh, the small baskets, they're $25. Uh, this is a, uh, a one called Emerald. And you can see it's got uh, lots of different beautiful colors in there and uh, has been hand woven very tightly. Now they don't hold water, but you can actually wash these with soap and water and then use them for nuts or for um, uh, other things. Um, you could put paper clips uh, 
a lot of uh, people at the quilt shows do uh, bobbins and uh, loose threads. The loose threads will not stick to the inside, so you'll be able to empty them very easily. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, these are often used to put something in and they're heavy. So when they sit on your sewing table, they're not gonna move. They're gonna stay right where you put them. Um, here's another example. Uh, this is called Earth Rainbow. And you can see all of the, uh, the pattern here. Here's what the inside pattern looks like. And uh, it's got earth colors, but in a rainbow fashion. Um, then we have bigger ones. A lot of people like the uh, triangle shape. This is uh, an example of the triangle shape. And if I hold it close, you can see just how detailed that, that wire is that uh, has been used to, to make these. These come in lots of different colors. We have about 75 or 80 different colors and styles on the website right now. Uh, we have big ones. Here's a uh, purple one. This is about $80 and it's a good bread basket or it's one you could use uh, to put a lot of things in. Um, we even have square ones. Uh, this is a brilliant rainbow color. And uh, many of you probably saw these from a distance when you were walking around the quilt show. Uh, all fair trade, all helping to employ the people of the Zulu tribe so they don't have to leave the tribal lands. Um, then uh, finally, uh, we have, here's an example with a little pedestal at the bottom right down here. Uh, it's a black rainbow color. It's got lots of nice patterns and some people even recognize stitches in here that, that you might use in quilting, but uh, they're actually used in the uh, making of the wire basket. Um, so the last thing I wanted to point out was that uh, we're out in Rockland, California. We're on the West Coast, but we're using uh, the post office, which has so far been able to ship packages pretty quickly. We will ship anything on our website, Priority Mail, and we'll ship it for free. You don't have to pay for that. Uh, Priority Mail has been getting even to the East Coast uh, within just a couple of days. So you could definitely have all these items by Christmas. Uh, more likely, they'll they'll be coming in your mail next week. Um, so um, I, uh, also, uh, if it doesn't work out and the gift is not appreciated, uh, we're happy to uh, take a full refund, um, including the cost of shipping it back to us uh, within 60 days. So that would put you sometime in the middle of January. So um, I think um, I think that just about does it um, for me. Um, uh, thank you all for the time to to look at what we have and. Uh, we hope that we're going to see you out at a uh, quilt show uh, maybe this spring. It's uh, We really miss everybody and all of our uh, favorite customers. So we're hoping we get a chance to, to get back and, uh, and do the, um, uh, the show then. Um, it, okay. Gary, that was amazing. I'm sorry, but what amazing gift ideas. You know, the one pair of earrings you held up. That's they, it. I was trying to think, think of, of that. They were you know, so this is unique. the first time I've done yeah. my spiel in about nine but, months. So it takes a little while. To oh, I know the feeling. Believe that. me. <laughs> we we kind of yeah. get out of the, we get out of the practice of it. But, oh, what great gifts you had for, you know, quilts, you know, quilters have friends that aren't quilters yes. too, that they're often looking for different gift ideas and being able to get those quickly. And everybody remember, if you're going to order, you know, from Gary, check out the website, see who you can knock off that gift list. Because if you order by tomorrow at midnight, you're going to get that additional 20% off. And he's graciously doing and, that shipping deal. So yes, and, be sure you check it and out. We, we never discount. So this is a real special thing we're doing for Rusty Barn and for the program. Take advantage of it. So Gary, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you guys. And I hope we see you soon on the road. Yes. Thank you. Okay, well, that was amazing. And uh, we're you know, keep trudging right along here. We've got one more of everybody's favorite vendors out there. I know a lot of you guys have seen her at the shows. So our next vendor is Claire from the Creative Feed. Are you there, Claire? I am. Can you hear me all right? We can hear you fine. Awesome. Hey, so I'm, I'm, I know that you could easily fill up a couple of hours. So I don't want to step on your time. So I'm going to just turn it over to you so you can get started because I know you've got a lot to share with us today. Okay. Well, thanks for all you've done and, and great job to everybody else that's gone on today. And uh, thanks to Rusty Barn, the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival. And know that I'm, I miss all of you so much and I miss you. I miss you guys 
so much. I do have a YouTube channel and also Facebook group. If you have not uh, heard that I do, know that you can go to creativefeet.com and get all of that information. Today, I'm going to kind of show you the highlights of how to make a cell phone purse for a Christmas gift using some of my products. And while 15 minutes isn't very much time, we have a free pattern for you to print out in my Facebook group. And after this is over, we'll post it inside of the comments so you know where to find that. So what I have, if you're not familiar with who I am, I'm the inventor of the creative feet. They're sewing machine feet that fit every sewing machine, no matter how new or how old. So all of you get to play along. The, uh, I'm going to switch camera so you can see the uh, close-up of what I'm doing here. And every time we go live in a new format, everyone is always a little bit nervous. I'm all set up here with, with the fabrics already cut because I have all of the instructions on this PDF version of the pattern so that you can cut it to size. And, and know that everybody's cell phone is not the same size. So you should lay your phone over the top and really see whether or not you want to make it wider because you can. And you can make, I turned away from the phone. And you can also make it fancier. So this is one that I made for a wedding. And this is one of the original ones that I made. You'll see that there's different closures. And the ingredients or what makes up the cell phone are two pieces of fabric, a zipper, a trim if you like to decorate the top flap and then a strap, which can be utilized out of the same trim that you use to sew onto the top. We have three feet at Creative Feet. The uh, one that is on the machine right now is our sequins and ribbon foot. And each of our feet come packaged, like you see here, with adapters that make them attach to all sewing machines. So you don't have to worry about which machine you have. If you have a Bernina, though, you're going to use a Bernina low shank adapter in addition to what's in the package. So the sequins and ribbon fit also has accessory guides that makes it so that you can sew a variety of different sizes of trim. You're not limited to just the size that you see on the machine here. The foot has a tube that holds any trim. That means yarn, ribbon, rickrack, elastic, sequins for you. And then you just watch where you're going. This nut allows you to adjust and line up the trim beneath your sewing machine needle. And then once it is adjusted, so that it is in line. You don't have to touch this and you can actually get it out of your way so you can see where you're steering. Remember this foot does attach to all, all sewing machines, no matter how new or how old your sewing machine. So watching the front of the foot, ignore the sewing machine needle. And not only can you sew straight, but you can also sew it in circles and create Appliques with it. What you do after you have this stitched on is now you have a decorative flap, but you don't see any stitching on the backside, so it makes it more attractive. This would be your opportunity to line up your tap or your magnetic closure, and then we're going to go ahead and sew all the way around. But you're probably wondering how I sewed that zipper on, and no, I'm not trying to keep you from. Seeing how I do it, we use another foot, this pearls and piping foot. The pearls and piping foot allows you to sew over not just zippers, but all different trims. One row at a time, two rows at once, three rows at once, all with just the one foot. And it, I, I designed it for someone who couldn't open up her hands when sewing. So it guides for you just like you saw the other. Now when I want to put a zipper down, I use our liquid-based basting glue. And what this is is really just a water-soluble stabilizer in a bottle. So it's not really a glue at all. It doesn't damage anything. When you're done, it washes out whenever you wash whatever it is that you wash. And you can also use it to hold down your layers of a quilt for a quilt sandwich. So the pearls and piping foot has this little washer on the snap-on bar that slides left and right. And what that does is it changes the needle position with relation to whatever you're sewing on. So if you've ever tried to sew piping before and you couldn't get your needle right next to the piping, you can with this foot. And remember, if it's all machines, so if you have 15 different makes and models 
the machines, you only need one set, but you can always buy more, more sets if you like. <laughs> this is only held down by the basting glue. And just to show you how well the foot works, my hands are not, not holding on. And now I can sew down the length of the zipper and the zipper and the foot become one with each other. And since the zipper is attached to the foot, I don't have to hold on. So your seam or your stitching line is always the right distance away from the zipper and it's not up to you to do that. Take and lift, and flip it over, do another row. Once again, don't have to hold on. Zoom, zoom. So people are always saying, oh, wow, I make everything look easy, but really the feet make me look really good. When, you're, when you follow this pattern, if you take a piece of washi tape to know where to sew your trim, then you won't lose track of it. That's what that is about. And we don't, don't have much time, 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and show the satin edge foot. And the satin edge foot is a foot I designed for a woman who was born blind and deaf. And she was taking tailoring at the Braille Institute when we met. I know it's probably hard to believe anybody would sew if they couldn't see. And this foot has a wire that is actually attached to this white guide. So as I turn the nut on the foot, the guide changes position. So this foot will allow you to do top stitching, edge stitching, pin tucking, invisible applique, applique, stitching in a ditch, charted needle design without the use of knitting needles, cut work without the use of a hoop, wire edges, fishing line edges, lettuce edging, trapunto applique, blanket stitch applique, edge joining, t-shirt trimming, eighth inch, quarter inch, scant quarter inch, seam allowances, all with your regular sewing machine. And, and that is how I act on on show. <laughs> so here we have our strap that we're going to use to actually wear our purse when we're finished. And we want it to be just lined up with the zipper uh, above it, but, but below. So we flip it over and, and we can go ahead and secure that. I know that I carry a lot of the products from some of the vendors that you may have been used to seeing at shows that aren't able to attend because like, uh, Apple Quick lives in Spain, so she can't travel to the United States. You can find her product at creativefeet.com, along with the, the Cutter Pillar product line. And the Cutter Pillar product line is the light tablets that you may have seen that you can cut on. And that is how I was able to cut this so precisely. Now I'm going to, uh, if I were going to sew like that, it would be sewn the wrong way. So go ahead and do this. And as I come around, I'm going to remove the clips, and I don't think I have enough time to do this, but I'll show you how the set and edge foot sew so seams together. We want the strap to be under control, so I usually tie it in a knot to keep it from getting caught while sewing in the seam allowance. And then we just take and we're going to bring our right sides together. And before sewing, we we want to make sure that we open our zipper because you're going to go all the way around. This is one of the easiest ways of sewing a bag because there's the fabric is the lining. And I forgot to mention that. We use our fuse and fuse stabilizer. And this is a fusible that fuses on the top and the bottom. You iron it to your fabric and it's actually inside of here. And then you iron the two fab the same fabric together with wrong sides together. And now it has no stretch at all. So it, it won't have any problems with puckering. And it also won't fray. That means that you can apply it right next to a zipper and you don't have to worry about doing any type of seam allowances. It's great for reducing bulk. It's also how I apply these fabrics together for this champagne mug rug, which is another lesson on my YouTube channel. This is also a free tutorial on my YouTube channel. And the pattern for this is available at creativefeet.com. Know that I am giving away to the first person who buys using the coupon that they have supplied a free presser. So whoever you are, whoever orders first at creativefeet.com using that coupon, which I can't really remember it, uh, know that you're gonna get to pick from any one of the color options of our pressers. And if you don't know what they are, they're used to press your seams. 
without having to use an iron. And because I always make things for people who are physically challenged, this is ergonomic. It doesn't hurt your hands, so you can push down really hard, hard and press all day long without getting sore from doing it. And there, there's videos on how I make them on our website as well. So I'm actually the person that turns your presser and makes it into a wonderful tool for you to use. This is another application of the sequence and ribbon foot using yarn. And you can actually, instead of using a satin stitch, you can applique with yarn. That's how this vest was done. So it looks like, like a satin stitch, but it's actually yarn stitched on. And here we go. I'm a little bit awkward because I'm not on my own channel here. And I have a stopwatch that's clicking beside me. I'm going to put the satin edge foot on. And now I'm going to select a quarter inch seam allowance. And for those of you who struggle to achieve a perfect quarter inch, this foot will help you to determine that you have a perfect quarter inch and also keep you sewing accurately. So you take a measuring tape and place it beneath the foot, select a left needle position and a straight stitch. And then you lower your needle down. And there are close up videos of this on our set edge foot page at creativefeet.com. This foot is so popular among our customers that they've renamed it the magic foot. So if you're looking for the magic foot, it's actually satin edge. So go ahead now and move the guide over to the quarter inch mark. If a pattern calls for a scant quarter inch, you go back scant, you got a scant quarter inch foot as well. Now that wire on the foot is the actual guide. Remember I designed for somebody who was born blind, so she never saw anything. So I had to make it so she could sew without being able to see well. So what you do is you push gently toward the foot and it pushes back the other way. and, and as long as you got your fabric edges lined up and know that our liquid-based glue does that for you. So if you were to glue these fabrics together first, there would be no shifting and no need for pinning. So I can go really, really, really fast and the stitch, the seam allowance is always maintained. <laughs> I broke my thread because I have my microphone cord wrapped around it. We're down to a very sh short amount of time. Let's see. Have you guys ever broken your thread? And needle threader. Thank God for needle threaders. This is the baby lock crescendo machine, if you are wondering, because I paint all of my sewing machines. So I do have a video on how to paint your sewing machine as well at creativefeet.com. If yours is looking tired, you can make it all pretty as well. So you can go down and lower your needle, lift and pivot. Once you get all your fabrics, together the purses sew out in just about 15 minutes so it's a great item if you like to make money on etsy notice that i don't put my hand behind the foot and pull as i sew always pushing toward the foot so that it determines the seam allowance i'm going to switch camera and kind of just talk to you for a second because the time is almost over I know that was rushed and know that there's a complete video on how to make these purses on my YouTube channel and you can pause and rewind me all you want so that you can get all of the information you need to make one. And another product that I offer at Creative Feet are my Octi hoops. The Octi hoops are free motion frames that have a little handle that drop into the frame that make it so that you can literally draw or trace designs for quilting and also do machine embroidery. It's how I did this wall art that you see hanging behind me. And it's how I did this. And this is going to be a project I'm working on live tomorrow at two o'clock Mountain Standard Time, which is three o'clock, or I get mixed up. I think that's one o'clock Pacific Standard Time because Arizonans do not change time. So we're down to one minute and 40 seconds and my dogs are running around knocking things over. And let's see. So this is a tutorial that I started live on Saturday last week, and I'm going to finish it up tomorrow and I'll be covering the basics of free motion embroidery. And I mean, free motion quilting. So if you've ever struggled to, to quilt, um, be sure to join us tomorrow at two and 
join my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also join my Facebook group. Boy, there's a lot to say. And let's see. <laughs> I have this. Claire, that was awesome. I just want to give you a heads up. We, we had some internet breaking up of your vocals a little oh, bit yeah. throughout the thing. Um, we have put in the comments though where they can find all of your wonderful videos and all your wonderful products. And uh, so we're sorry about that. It's just, it was an internet issue and not so much a mic issue or anything else. So, um, but uh, we got to see what you were doing and I think most of us could follow along really, really well. So we're just so happy that you were here. And guys, I know she's a fan favorite. We're gonna have her on again for other projects later on in the show. So Absolutely. thank you, Claire. Thank you, Raylene. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Okay, Bye. well, you know, that's our four vendors for today. So I want to remind everybody, all four of these vendors are offering that special. So you need to order tomorrow night, Thursday by midnight. Go to the Quilt Craft Sew Mall. And right in the middle of the homepage, you're going to see uh, the coupon. And I'm sorry, I've totally blanked on exactly what it says. But you'll see it. When you click on that, it's going to take you to a special page with all four of today's vendors. Now you have just a few more seconds. So if you missed the intro, you got in a little bit late. If you wanna be in our drawing today for those five wonderful prizes, you have a few more seconds to type pick me in the comments and you'll be entered into the random drawing. We will be announcing the winners tomorrow. We'll post it right here on our Facebook page. Now don't forget to tune in next week, same time, same place, where we're gonna have four great new vendors and we should uh, be able to announce that by tomorrow. We ask that you share this with your friends. Guys, this is really helping a lot of vendors out because you know, we're really struggling now. We've been nine months with no shows and we're getting kind of tired of just being at home. We really wanna be there with you, but until we can, we hope this will give you a little bit of fix of some of our vendors. So guys, we hope you have a great week and we hope you tune in next week for Wild Wednesdays Live presented by Quilt Craft and Sew Festival. Bye-bye. <laughs>